All right, hello everyone. This is Old School Media here. Coming back at you all with a interesting thing for consoles. Or at least just a general review. Well, I've already reviewed the console, but this video is a little bit different. It's going to be focusing not on the console itself, but the company that made it. Now, you all know of App Games. I own a few App Game consoles. And you probably remember this, the App Games Blast. The, it uh, claims to explore the explore more of the classic world. Well, sadly, the one that's the Bandai Namco one got canceled because, um, let's just say it, the company Bandai Namco found out that App Games was stealing their arcade ROMs and pretty much got rid of it. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the Volume 1 Blast console, the red one. This one was designed to play just Atari games. It's got 20 Atari games built into it. It comes with a Bluetooth controller that actually works. Like a 2 point something controller. 2.4 gigahertz or something. It's pretty simple. It's your 6 button Sega variant. Which is kind of weird that you need 6 buttons. Because an Atari game usually only like uses 1 button. Like 1 or 2 buttons. But you have a D-pad, so it does make movement a little bit easier. Obviously, why was this created? Well, this will, console was created by um, At Games to uh, pretty much uh, cash in on the Nintendo Switch. They heard Nintendo was getting ready to bring out a Switch console, so why not make tiny HDMI dongle consoles with simple instructions? Pretty much it comes with this nice little simple booklet. It came with something else. I can go get this prop. It won't take long. It also came with this, this tiny little simple sticker here that has the Blast logo. It's an Atari Blast Volume 1. I've reviewed this console before, but kind of interesting that the company at games would create something like this that's simply a tiny HDMI cable built into a console and the at games logo is branded behind it here's the HDMI dongle it has this nice cover it's actually kind of reminiscent of an Amazon Fire but it's patented it has a US patent of 7,609,835 so this is the patent this is trademark by at games it's a pretty Small console. It comes with just this. It came with this, this, and this tiny cable. It came with the little sticker and then the notepad. The instructions of how to use it. Pretty much the controller though is actually of a higher quality than what you'd find from Mac Games. You have your little simple on and off switch here. You have your battery pack. You have to put your batteries in. It comes with the standard menu, rewind, and a start button. As I already said, it has the Several buttons for the what would have been a Sega Genesis, but there was a version that was the Legends Blast, which is similar to the, but it was a blue dongle that was similar to the Legends Flashback giant console with 50 games, but it only had like 12 games, which is kind of odd compared to what some of the other consoles have. But anyway, this I just thought this was an interesting idea and a video because um, this was designed by Act Games to compete with. The far superior Nintendo console. And this is what you would think of as one of those Chinese knockoffs. Which which this is made in China. So I'm not surprised. Thank you all for watching.